and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you another cool little tool. This is developed by a company called Swiss Internals, which was since bought out by Microsoft. It's called Regmon. Regmon is a fantastic tool. And what it does is it will actually monitor the registry keys that are being used when you launch certain software. So why would you want to use this? Well, one thing, if you think there's some weird virus and malware going on at your computer, you can always monitor what's going on on the registries, what, see what's being accessed. Another way to use it is that if you want to lock down a workstation, say for XP, for example, and you don't want to give your users local admin privileges, you may have to find certain registry values that actually require read and write, specifically probably write permissions on their registry key. And every once in a while, you're going to find some software company that's really poorly designed, and they insist on making all the users local admins. Well, this is really poor design, and they're just actually lazy because they haven't spent the time to find a workaround process. So what you could do is find the specific registry keys in the files, for that matter, that are being accessed, and just give granular permissions on those registry keys and files. For the registry portion, you could use uh, Regmon for this. So just go to this website here. If you can't find it, just do a search on Regmon and uh, on Google or whatever utility you use. You'll quickly find it. And it's a very tiny little install again. So here you see it's an EXE. So you just double click on that and immediately it's going to start capturing data. So you got, <laughs> you got to be very fast. So what I'm going to do is say, click on that, stop capturing. I'm going to clear this. So what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and find a value uh, using Outlook. And the reason I want to do this is that if you can actually find the specific keys that are being accessed, this is valuable because in that way you can actually export that value and then use some kind of um, uh, scripting program to change registry keys on computers. So it's a much better way to do it. So it's a great little way, of course, to find which, again, rich registry values are being accessed. So I'm going to go to Outlook here. And the best way to do this is if you actually do as many actions as you can before you want to capture, this will make it much easier because you'll capture less information. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try and change my auto archive settings here with the assumption that I want to change this for all users. So I'm going to say I want to change the default folder settings for archiving and clean out items older than two, uh, six months. I'm going to change that to two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to say capture. I'm going to uh, change that to 2, and then I'm going to click OK, and click OK. Again. So you want to do as many actions as you can afterwards to get all the information because you're not sure when Windows will actually write those values. So that's why I clicked OK twice. So you can see there's a lot of different items here. <laughs> What's really good is that you can actually filter if you wanted to. As you can see, this is HKLM, so that means hotkey local machine. And then we have other values which are specific to me, meaning the person logged in as a hotkey current user. So from past experience, I know that the Outlook settings are actually um, hotkey current user. And what else I can do, I can actually scroll down here and see if I can see any Outlook processes. Oh, there we are. So it takes a bit of experience to get uh, used to um, Regmon here. And let's see here. I'm getting pretty close here because I can see that the uh, we set a value here for archive period. So let's go ahead and double click on that one. And what's nice, it'll take you right to that area right there. So let's look at archive period. I think that's the one right here. So what's really cool is I can double click on that now and the value data, and I can actually change it here to confirm if it gets changed back in Outlook. That's a good way of verif verifying I actually have the right value here. So let's change that to six. I'm gonna click, click OK now. Let's go back here and see if in fact it changed it. It did. So that's really cool. So I've actually found the right area of the registry that's being used there. And once again, make sure you verify that because if you're going to export this and use it in some kind of utility to import it on machines, meaning computers, then you want to be very careful. Of course, right now, all I need to do is I can right click here. I can export. Save it to my desktop. So 
not the best uh, <laughs> best file name, but let's uh, minimize that. And of course, if you want to clear it, just um, go over here and just click clear. Of course, if I double click on that file there, it's going to import everything. So what I can do now is just look at this and I can clean all this stuff out and clean that out because this is the only thing I want to change. I'm going to change this back to two again. Two. Save that. So now if I double click on this, yes, okay, and let's go back to Outlook again and see if in fact that changed it. That once again, this is another great way to verify I've actually made these changes. And I have the right key, and there you have it. That has now been changed to two months. So there you have it. Regmon is a great tool to use to work on the registry. Once again, it is uh, kind of tricky to get used to because there's so many values, but as you saw, you can actually fine tune it to limit the amount of results you get back. And a word of caution here, when you are working with the registry, you have to be careful. So do take extra steps to make sure the changes you're making are in fact the correct changes. Thanks for watching.